How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have thrown to the wolves. It took them five years to find themselves out of the Canadian wilderness to come <laughs> to back onto my show. So they've made it out so they can say their names and what they do in the bit. Hey, guys. Thanks for having us, Brandon. Uh, Billy, I'm vocals uh, for Throne. I'm Jay. I play guitar. I'm Cody. I'm the drummer. And I'm Christian, and I play bass. All we're right. also missing. Uh, we're also missing one guitarist. He's uh, actually laid up in the hospital right now. So uh, oh. we'll, we'll cut him an excuse this time, I guess. <laughs> so he uh, he was gonna that's, dial in. But, uh, yeah, that's a that, pretty good excuse, I'd say. You yeah, know, yeah. I I wouldn't want you to just show up at the hospital and he's got like his phone out. You know, like in, his, <laughs> in the bed that <laughs> he's he's hospital right, gown. Really. You know what I mean? I don't think that would be too good. Everyone. The, ner- the nurse walks in. He's like, yeah, so I'm in this van. <laughs> oh, what, what? Okay. So, but it's for recovery. <laughs> man, I asked for the pudding, man. Why didn't I get... Oh, oh, sorry. I'm still in the interview. Man, he's been, he's been raving about the pudding in the hospital right now. That's oh, all he talks about. Shit. It's just pudding. Well, get this. <laughs> if you are if you make pudding and you're a sponsor, please go sponsor Thrown to the Wolves for pudding. I don't know who does that in Canada. <laughs> or maybe. Guy. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate pudding but uh i love that well guys thank you so much for coming back on always a pleasure um but want to know where what you guys have been doing because you kind of took um i feel like it's been a while since i've had you on so there's a lot of stuff that has changed there's a lot of new things coming out you know a new song you know epitaph that's coming out on august the 11th and I said to the guys I recorded a reaction video, so you know that's coming out. So you guys got you guys got some stuff coming out. So what what's been new in the Throwing the Wolves camp? Like I, I want to know what's going on. Well, uh, COVID kind of. So when COVID hit, we were right in the middle of uh, of touring our single, our new single at the time, Unbreakable. Um, and then we got shut down. We just finished playing Oshawa and we were going to play Hamilton and we got shut down right in between those shows. And that was February, March, somewhere. February, February March, March of 2020. 2020. And we haven't played a show since. Uh, so COVID, uh, COVID hit. And honestly, it's been, uh, I think everybody here has been through the ringer in the last three years. Uh, we lost a couple members, uh, like not dead, but rest in peace. So they're, you know? they're, they're no longer part of Throne. Uh, so we got a couple new members. Um, so we've been really working hard on kind of uh, revamping the band, uh, revamping our sound, uh, and uh, getting new merch, uh, getting new songs, new videos. Um, we got, uh, some studio time booked for, uh, late January. So we're really excited about what's to come. And, uh, we have that new video epitaph drop in August 11th. Um, we got a single release show scheduled for that September 29th in Oshawa Ooh. and another one September 30th in Newmarket. So, um, things are finally starting to roll right now. And, uh, uh I, I think, uh, we're schedule's all, packing in, man. Yeah. Ooh. We're all very excited get going again for sure it's been, it's been a while it's filling up quick yeah that, and that's good to hear because i i i will say during like you know the the spicy cough era of of you know music uh it I wasn't sure if I was even going to continue to do YouTube, to be fair. So I I was like, are there going to be bands that I can interview? <laughs> like, who knows? It, it was just kind of up in the air. And so I think that over at least I would say, you know, in the U.S., at least for, you know, states, I know that over the past two years, beat bands have just been like hitting the streets, trying to yeah. do as many shows as they possibly can. And I, I think that... I would hope everybody feels at least a little bit more revitalized now that they've taken time to, you know, either reconfigure their sound or like, you know, find ways to make the band more like approachable. Cause I often ran into people that were just like, Oh man, I have to do this. I have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. And it became like this omen almost to bands where it's just like, you have to constantly be doing stuff. And so um, did you guys take the moment to kind of like allow yourself to, you know, figure things out for yourself and bring that kind of new life back into, you know, thrown to the wolves? Cause I think that I would hope that's what I would imagine most bands did during that time period. But, uh, you know, how did you guys spend that time of, of, I guess, being away and making music, I guess. 
Well, I don't know if you guys want to jump in. I think it was a, a question on if we were even going to get back to get back to playing because uh, when we lost those two key members, it was kind of like we kind of had to stand back and be like, "What? Where are our priorities right now?" Sure. And, yeah. Pull out a window to sales for sure, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it was it was very uh, it was definitely definitely something we weren't prepared for. Yeah. Um, and uh, we had actually the music video that's coming out uh, features the two members that are no longer a, a part of it. Uh, so it was one of those things like, do we release the video um, or or what do we do? And we decided that because we haven't really announced that uh, that they're no longer in the band or anything. The page has been quiet for, for years. So it was really a, a question on if we were going to come back or not. And then uh, we got uh, we got Christian here uh, who joined the band and, and Davey Jones there who's in, in the hospital right now. But they they kind of came back and they were kind of the wind that that into the Literally, sails yeah. again that really brought back. Uh, I guess the drive to to do something with this. They they heard they saw Epitaph, they saw the video, uh, and they were they were really ex excited about it. So um, that was kind of that driving force that that brought us back to back to life, so to speak. Absolutely, definitely, definitely. help us revamp our sound too. Oh yeah, yeah. With two new members too, uh, uh, the new stuff that we're writing right now, uh, I think it personally is uh, is definitely a, a new direction for us. Uh, it's a new challenge for us sure. too. So. Uh, it's nice to evolve and continue evolving throughout the throughout the years. Yeah, I, I mean, I had the pleasure of taking a listen to Epitaph. Um, obviously, this will come out before the music video comes out, but um, I was like, this is really good. Like, I think I had a moment to go back and listen to a little bit more of your catalog as well. So I went back and listened to Unbreakable and Disease, and I was like, I wonder like how much a band can change over the years. And I thought maybe by chance that Epitaph was recorded like – either around the same time or like you know kind of in proximity because i was like okay this this has that familiar sound to it and i think it just makes me more interested to see what you guys are going to be coming up with going down the line because having two members uh swap out in a band i think is a any any i mean for any member swap is you know, kind of a different thing. I would say arguably probably the biggest swap is any anytime you get a vocalist change. Um, but I was really surprised at like how much heavier Epitaph was than some of your previous stuff. I was like, damn, this is like really like almost a little death Corey in some parts. And I, I was like, this is really interesting. So in terms of Epitaph, did, was that kind of more of a jumping off point for like the new material or can you guys kind of delve into, you know, where you guys are going sonically now that you have, you know, some new members in the band that, you know, are breathing in, breathing in that new life to, you know, throw into the wolves. I think Epitaph is going to be that song that takes us from our old sound and brings us into the new chapter of Throne to the Wolves. Sure. Uh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely heavier than I think any other release that we put out if you listen to break unbreakable and then you put yeah. and then you put off on it yeah right yeah. Like, very yeah. different <laughs> yeah. i was 100. like wow this is is this the same band did i click the right link yeah exactly. but we we like to do that we like to do that we like to when we when we go into the studio to write a song we don't try to we're not going in there to try to have a certain sound we we hear what we think is good uh we work with our producer as well and uh and he kind of takes dissects the riffs and and kind of gives his input on everything and, and does what a producer should do yeah. when he's when he's listening to a band so um i think w us together we have a very good relationship and uh, i'm very excited to to bring in these new guys uh and see what uh we're going to go the same producer that that recorded unbreakable and, and epitaph and everything and we're very excited to hear what uh what we can come up with in, uh, in early uh, 2024. Yeah, it's going to be very exciting. Um, also, again, leave a pre-save link if you can. Go pre-save you know, Epitaph. And then make sure to give them, give them a follow on social media. I think that's like the best way to keep up with bands right now. Um, so if you can go do that, hit the sub to their YouTube channel, you know, that'd be really sick. Um, but I, I was like sitting through it and I was like, this is much heavier than what I remember you guys to be. So I was like, I was like, is this a new song? Cause this, this could be a new song. So I, I, I'm excited to hear the newest material that was stuff that you're going to be working on in early 2024, because I think that's really when 
you're going to figure out in terms of like sound wise where you guys are going to be going and in that direction and stuff. And um, I guess I'll speak more to Jay since he's one of the newest members and he's on here. But um, what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of inspired you to, I guess, join Thrones of the Wolves? Did they kind of seek you out or or, or how to kind of work out? I had some friends in the band and it just kind of, I would come to shows and when the other guitar player left, it was already kind of like just a, a direct fit. I already knew the material. He was our, he was our roadie, carried all our stuff in too. <laughs> <laughs> I helped carry everything. I helped everything. But yeah, I just moved in. I knew, I knew the songs. There was no gap. There was no nothing. We just started rolling with the new stuff and it was just, it just, it was a good transition. There we and go. actually, uh, Christian's actually the newest, the newest member. Um, ah, so okay. He came in I know I fucked that up because as soon as I saw Cody's face, I was like, "Yeah, I said something wrong." <laughs> man. I, I, there's no way I'm going back from it, so I just have to yeah, stick I mean, with it. Jay's still, I'm still, I'm still the new guy. Jay's still the new guy. You know, uh, yeah. you guys are making Jay, feel like, good, but I know I, for sure I like. As soon as I saw Cody's face, I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "I know I said something wrong." There's, <laughs> yeah. you know, for sure. Okay. I mean, I could jump in and answer that. Yeah, so, go ahead. Uh, same question um so without getting too much into the, the details of members leaving or whatever but i i heard the news and i messaged billy right away i'm like hey like do you need a bass player and he's like uh i don't know <laughs> like uh, yeah, I, I, I guess <laughs> I, I think so do we like, need a bass player <laughs> yeah. timing's a bit weird it was, a weird, it was <laughs> weird timing but uh i also play in another band called lawless tons and we played together before and uh so there was a familiarity there uh but it's like a separate type of genre and i kind of wanted to dive into something a little bit more in the metal field and uh. so i'm bringing stuff that is not like a, it's getting tossed to the side and i'm like man i got all this stuff that i want to use so then in comes me and i'm like hey guys you guys want you li like this stuff and everyone's <laughs> like yeah that's your level of this stuff so now it's like all right well now we got we got music to roll with and uh it's a new direction and uh new sound it's gonna be fun to work with so. yeah it would have been funny if uh if billy was just like i don't i don't know i don't think we need a bass player <laughs> <laughs> he's like shuts it down entirely <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll put you I'm into consideration <laughs> yeah <laughs> block you know. yeah oh man no well i i feel like most people are pretty good about that sort of stuff they're just like oh yeah well i don't know if we need someone we'll we'll let you know but i i'm glad it worked out and and I'm glad that Christian's able to spread his wings a little bit more and do things that is this like Christian, is this the type of music that you typically listen to or is this kind of more branching out for you? Because of COVID and I'm, I'm sure I can speak for a lot of people that got really angry about what happened, <laughs> like forced us to do things we didn't want to do. And like, I'm not, a, I'm an extrovert. I don't like to sit and just sit there and isolate. This is not <laughs> the way I need to get out there. So a lot of angst behind that. I started listening to a lot more metal, a lot more metal core, death core, you, you name it, stuff that I wasn't listening to uh, previously. And I jumped into music production and started just putting my riffs out like for myself just to get sure. stuff out there. Yeah. And uh, that's what kind of like sparked that like want to do that. I've never been in this type of situation sonically with any any bands that i've ever joined with before like i've played in punk bands hardcore pan hardcore bands like pop rock whatever sure, 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 yeah. so this is the heavy that i want to be a part of which is fun so. there we go well and kind of speaking off that uh you know who are you guys influenced by now because i imagine a lot of stuff has changed within the band so who are you guys kind of like looking towards in terms of bands that maybe sonically is going to wind up making it into the newer stuff that you guys are going to be releasing down the line yeah well, who's gonna jump on this one <laughs> that's, it, well, <laughs> that's a good question and i think that's what when you listen to throne it, it it doesn't sound like any other like it's just it's like a collective of, of bands like for me personally i'm i'm big into metalcore so i love bands like uh fit for your kit or fit for a king um bands like that and uh i know i know chan i love fit for a king yeah, yeah. they're they're, they're <laughs> um, chan and i got tickets to bad opens in september bad so Ooh. that's a good one i've been listening to a lot of uh make them suffer and also polaris i mean sad to hear about ryan yeah uh, passing. 
so terrible. Man. Shout out to those guys. Yeah. Uh, Production but, quality, we like uh, yeah. like Alpha Wolf. Alpha oh, Wolf. Wolf. They're doing stuff. Yeah. Like that stuff. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Jay, you want to throw a band in the hat? <laughs> Through the barrel. My God. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Actually, some of the leads on the on the new stuff that we're going into the studio with, it's got like that Egyptian kind of scale to the Frisian it. stuff. To it. It's uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, I felt like, uh, especially with Evitath, I was like, man, they're kind of pulling from like OG like metalcore, like post hardcore stuff. So the bands that came to mind that I mentioned were like an like old like in fear and faith kind of stuff, you know, with the like instrumental stuff in the background. And then as well as that, I, you know, goes without saying Prada. I feel like, you know, you guys definitely have that sort of like Prada influence as well. And then yep. guitar riff wise, that was a little bit harder to discern. I feel like there was a, some moments where I was like, this feels very like heavy and like borderline death chord sort of stuff. And then there are some parts where I was like, they have to love like riffy bands because the verse parts in Epitaph, I was like, this feels very like guitar riff centric. And that's, that's my bread and butter. I love that stuff. So I don't know if it was in the second verse where there's like, like harmonized guitar parts, that part, I was like two thumbs up. That's so sick. I love that. So yeah, awesome. Kudos to Jay and you know, Jay's just riffing it out here. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's a try to have it. <laughs> uh, but that's awesome. Very excited to hear the new stuff and that, you know, in terms of influences, I was just kind of curious, you know, where you guys might be heading in, in regards to that. Um, but for people who maybe aren't familiar with Thrown to the Wolves, uh, do you have a song in mind that might kind of give them an idea of what you what your sound's going to be going further? Ooh, <laughs> that's a hard just um, one song? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you could really. give two. Why don't you give yeah, uh, give me uh, one and a runner up. Unbreakable there for sure. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Like one of our one of our songs? One of our own songs? Or... Yeah, one of your own songs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I would say unbreakable as far as production quality and sound wise. Yeah. Uh you could put unbreakable yeah. there. I think Absolutely. that's gonna be uh definitely kind of what we're uh, the bar that we've set um and totally, then yeah. obviously when epitaph drops that's gonna be uh i'm gonna throw epitaph in the hat because i already told Zach, like we got we got to make one better than epitaph yeah whatever we gotta do like this, that that's like a epitaphs are it's a powerhouse of a song so it's like all right we can't like go back from this we gotta go forward <laughs> you know so and and shout out to Zach at uh, uh, Altitude Studios too yeah. in in Quebec there. Yeah, Zach Repair. He knew, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, shout out to Zach. Awesome. Um, yeah, I, I I would probably say Epitaph as well. I think that's a pretty good indicator of what I feel like people are going to come to expect from from the band. So definitely go check that one out. There will be a link below to go uh, go give that a listen if you haven't already. But. Um, the next question I have for you guys is what is your like Mount Rushmore of bands? Like what are some four bands that you have that are very influential to you that really have made like a large impact on you making music? All right. Well, there's four of us. So everyone pick one. (laughs) I got, I got mine. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know. Go ahead. Well, just as of late and like, just like the way they're, what they're doing recently on their last record and who they worked with i'd pick uh bleed from within oh that's, that's, that's my yeah my inspiration um i love that they worked with nolly get good uh on shrines and uh yeah i just love the overall like aesthetic of that album for me personally uh, that's one thing i've been rocking i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm still I, after the burial to me. I just love what they do, how they work it. It's just it yeah. makes me want to do better. Do better. That's fair. <laughs> I just need to do better. Just do better. Yeah. Just do better. Um, I'm going. I'm going way back. I'm going to uh, the band that got me into uh, performing music and 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 into the whole scene would be Parkway Drive when they came out with Romance is Dead. When I saw them, they were playing like uh, those old uh, like recreational halls and stuff. Oh, and just, nice. Just, yeah. I was like the first like uh, I heard Winston's vocals and I was like, man, that's what a beast. And it was really like before them, I, I hadn't really heard a lot of that like i think uh, atreyu was there with uh, the crimson and it was like that old school that old school like that that's my shit <laughs> i still rock that in the car all the time. Oh, that, <laughs> lead, 
That leads into my band as a trade, probably for me. Ooh, yeah. All right. Yeah. No so there you go. Dying, eh? no. Good, good model. Oh, you know what? I, I, yeah, good call. As I lay dying call. through struggle, when, when they came out with that, <laughs> yeah. just that it's intro was, was incredible, man. That's, it's really, I don't know. It's, it was good. I like the old shit. It's a tough pick. I feel like that's that's always hard to kind of nail out who who uh, influences you the most. So I, that's a hard one. So I know that's a, that's a difficult one to answer. But this one probably might not be as easy to answer either. I'm almost positive that I asked Cody this the last time I had him on in 2018. Probably. Um, <laughs> but if you guys could pick somebody to collaborate with on an up and coming thrown to the wolves track, who would be somebody you'd want to work oh, with? Oh man, that's a tough one. You can give me one. You guys can give me two choices. Uh, the first one is one that you feel like is more likely to happen. Like you could definitely, you know, it could definitely be said. And the second one is just like we're manifesting, we're putting it out there, you know. Um, so artist or uh, like uh, recording engineer or something. You're pick your poison. You can do it, everyone. Yeah. We get two. Um, <laughs> get two. Yeah. Well, yeah, who would you who would you like to record I, with? I, like, <laughs> As a recording, like someone to produce yeah, with. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm interested in working with Zach, so I, like I I want to put oh, his there name. There you go. I'm put his name with, but, go. Shout out to Zach. but if I was gonna pick like the the crazy like you know epic person that I want to reach out to and get with, it would be uh, Tyler Smith or Tyler Smythe, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, well, Tyler, yeah it's Tyler. Yeah, Tyler's just excellent. Uh, I like all the bands that he's worked with, like sonically, all the production that he's done. They fit in line with what we're doing. So that would be my like, man, if I can just hold them in this room and get them to like, <laughs> like rock out with us. And, <laughs> yeah. All right, tell us what are we doing wrong and make it better. Yeah. <laughs> you know? All right. Uh, I'm going to go with a band to collaborate with. I'll go on the other side. Uh, I'm going to keep it local with our, our local boys in the Northern, I think. Uh, I was thinking the same thing, I man. Love I was the same Shout same out. Home. The boys. Hey, oh, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I think, actually, they introduced us to you, so there you go. Oh. Um, I think uh, oh, I think if we got all of us into the studio together, we would, uh, we would create something. Uh, we would create a monster for sure. Magic. Canadian dad metal for sure. Yeah. That'd be great. That would be about it. And what's the really astronomical one? Astronomical. astronomical is probably going to be Billy's Parkway Drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know if I would go with them now. Um, oh, all right. All right. I don't know. This is like the, the big band. Like, Maybe I'd be cool. Maybe I'd be all right. August Burns Red, no? Maybe I'd be all right. Wage War. Like, like, wage War would be all right, yeah. Yeah, Wage War if, if I were to have, like, a, I don't know, like, collaborate, like, band-wise or, like, a, like have, like, a guest vocalist, I'd ask, like, I'd, I'd really love to, like, have Sam Carter come here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Get, Architects, yeah, there you go. Sure, yeah. yeah. I guess I guess they're all yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> He can scream really high pitch. It's, 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 it's crazy. Yeah. He's pretty good at what he's he does. Pretty good at what he does. He's pretty good at what he does. Yeah, I, I would argue that. Yeah. <laughs> Jay. Oh, I'm just gonna let those guys answer that one. <laughs> I wasn't even prepared to answer. <laughs> I feel like you got to put your input in there. You know. I'm bringing. I'm bringing the vocalist. Uh, what's his name there? Ben from uh, Billy Talent. Oh, oh that'd, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Go okay. on the cage. Hey, well, yeah, that's yeah, that's, like that's like not it. a far reach, man. I could. No. I could get a. I might be able to like. You got contacts? Got contacts. Got contacts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I live in Streetsville. That's where they're from. Like, yeah. I'm literally one. You're my you're right away from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah I just yeah. ask a buddy. I'm like, hey, can you reach out to him? And, yeah, Do you know Billy Talent? Talent? He keeps Let's knocking on everybody. Hey, Billy Talent, we're coming out. <laughs> <laughs> get, get in on this. Tag him. <laughs> to see christian just walking around town just knocking on people's doors on do you know door, billy like, talent hey, we don't live here anymore man. yeah <laughs> <laughs> do you know billy talent you have to know billy talent for sure he keeps following yeah. finding people in town oh, to harass I can those billy talent in that town. So, <laughs> oh yeah so one of you has to know billy talent i just you know <laughs> yeah give me the answers jay mm-hmm. you have it do you have any collabs collabs for me no can't be after the burial. You've said that way too many times. You're probably gonna be after the burial. <laughs> yeah. It can't um, be. It can't be Slayer either. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do my Slayer. Pantera stuff. <laughs> I'll take Pantera. <laughs> I don't know. A, a good collab. I don't know. I wouldn't mind working with even like Alexis on Fire. Oh yeah. Oh, reachable. Keeping a Canadian. Yeah. Canadian, Canadian royalty. Yeah. 
I got you. Yeah. Cancer cuts. There you go. It's reachable. Yeah. All right. I'll 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 knock on Liam's door. Get him in here. <laughs> Christian's going to be doing a lot of outreach, I think. That's what, yeah, that's yeah, what I yeah. got. That's, that's, why, that's why we brought him in. That's Christian's going to be right. screaming from the root. Hey, so are you in a band? I'd love – you should show up on our song. Okay, cool. Yeah. That would be awesome. Well, listen, guys. I I need you to go – this is this is the time, guys. If you were watching this interview, I need you to take your phone out. I need you to tag Thrown to the Wolves. And then I need you to tag all these Canadian bands, but more specifically the Northern, because, you know, I know them. And if they watch this segment, then and they don't do it, then I'm going to be disappointed. And it, I, I don't want to have like I want to take out like the, the the disappointed dad hat, you know, where I'm like, I love you, but, you know, I'm a little disappointed. So if I have to do that, I don't want to. But I feel like they'll do it. You know, Adam will listen to me. Adam, do it. Do Adam it. and Jordan. Absolutely. Yeah. They're, they're all beauties. Oh, I love those. Come on, Jack. You got this. Especially Mike. Mike, do that. Yeah. You're, you're supposed to send me that silly city and color vinyl like forever ago. So I'm gonna call <laughs> you out in this video. Oh, <laughs> Just kidding. That was good. <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh, I love <laughs> no, I love Mike. He keeps saying he's like, oh yeah, I work for the company that like makes the records, and I was like, nice. I was like. Do you want to, are you going to send me one? Like, don't, you don't just put that out there and just tell me because like, I need that, you know? So now I'm going to come find where you live and just knock on your door and tell you, Hey man, I'm here. Where's that? Yeah, Christian knows where he lives. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Christian, I'm just going to DM Christian later and get his full ad- address. Here is Mike's. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to play it. Mike's. I'll, I'll find it. We'll f- Oh my God, we're going on a mission for for Mike's address. Please don't actually dox Mike. That's all I'm saying. Don't you didn't hear it from me? Just yeah. don't do it. That's not good. Not good, not good stuff. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. The next question I have for you is um, more current question. Uh, what are you jamming recently? What's what's on the Spotify? What have you guys been listening to lately? Doing a lot of Polyphia lately. Oh, listen to a lot of Polyphia. Um, okay. Yeah. Got some uh, landmarks, some Johnny Booth. Ooh, oh, yes! Man. Shout out nice. to both of those bands; they're sick. Yeah, yeah Johnny Booth is sick. Um, the album that got my attention recently, and I spun it way too many times in a row, <laughs> was uh, the latest Sleep Token. Yes. Uh, oh, that, what? that just front to back. I just I went through that. I mean, it's an hour long, so I listened to it for like eight hours straight or something <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> just all all day, every day. It was Same. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Loved it. Yeah. And still love it. Yeah. I'm jamming uh jamming Eminence. Uh Ooh. Like, they're, they're great. Yeah. I've, I've, yeah, they were one of my favorites for a while now. And uh every new song they pull out. That that vocalist is just incredible. Bust out a violin. Like I gotta learn yeah. violin. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely unreal absolutely unreal yeah that yeah. his his it, yeah shout out to eminence they're awesome i they're i like found out about them pretty recently and i was like yeah this is cool i like this especially with the violin it just makes everything like heavier and more depressing which i didn't know was possible so like heavy it's like a heavy yellow card it's heavy <laughs> yellow yeah exactly it's alternate <laughs> universe yellow card yeah so yeah. oh it's great and they happen to be like i think they're from like Denmark, I'm pretty sure they're like, oh, not, wow. yeah, oh, they're, they're the Danes, yeah, the Danish, they're the Danish, I think. Yeah. So, shout outs to them. Uh, the next question I have for you guys is if you guys were to pick a song that you wish that you wrote, what song would you choose? Oh man, oh, uh, Pick of Destiny by Tenacious D. <laughs> <laughs> 100, that is that's a massive, awesome pick. I love that. That's incredible. Try to top that, boys. Yeah, I don't think there's <laughs> a point true. like that. I'm black velvet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. When you're driving in the sunset, when yeah. black velvet hits just right. Oh, uh, probably I want it that way by Backstreet Boys. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought I was gonna. That was out of the blue, Cody. Yeah, I was gonna. Woo! I thought I was throwing out of there, but uh, I think uh, it's a tough one. I I don't know. I think maybe thriller by michael jackson there you go uh, there you go there's four solid answers i just <laughs> those are great yeah. you know, because if we wrote it i mean i'd be rich and i was gonna say you and Co- you and Co- cody and christian are gonna be in like a mansion yeah. they're gonna be just chilling yeah. well i just said I, I like really like that song you got the insight on the good, the next good covers the video yeah. <laughs> amazing. i love it yeah, yeah. throne covers 
Yeah. Throwing covers. Yeah, that's great. Well, I did ask Cody the last time. I don't even remember if he knows what answer he picked for cover song. That was a while no. ago. No. Yeah, it's all right. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll flash it. back to that to that video right yeah, now. Yeah, I'll go back and watch it. <laughs> I'll go back and watch it. If I find it, I'll throw it up on the screen On in terms of Cody what Cody actually gave my favorite answer in inter- any any interview we've done on that, inter- on that interview. I think you asked what our favorite venue was. Yes, and I did. There was was uh tacos the one with the tacos. one with tacos the yeah one with tacos yeah that was, that was he said point. it with such conviction <laughs> yeah. so, so you know well, from, if, you're from, if you're from the gta you know exactly that's, that's all awesome. you have to say and and <laughs> people will know the venue you're talking oh, yeah, about yeah, yeah it's a good venue it is okay. a good venue absolutely yeah. I thought for sure, I think I remember questioning it because I thought it was possibly like Sneaky D's in Toronto because I know they oh, also yes, they, they good tacos. They also have nachos. good tacos. Yeah, nachos. So, nachos. Sorry, and nachos. nachos. Yeah. And yeah. I so that's what I initially thought. And then you're like, I just go to the venues with tacos in it. And I was like, that <laughs> could be a lot of venues. <laughs> Potentially, you know, I don't know. If you're a That's venue that serves show. tacos, Cody's band wants to play your venue. So hit him up. That's another <laughs> taco venue. Cody yeah. just wants to Cody just I feel like just wants to hit all of the venues that serve tacos. So if you live That's in the it. States or in Canada and you serve tacos, Cody's band Thrown to the Wolves wants to play that said venue. Yeah. So hit, hit the only thing up. I'm interested in the enchilada tour. <laughs> the enchilada tour. <laughs> the enchilada. <laughs> The, I probably should have taken Pepto Bismol before the set tour. Yeah, that's what we're we're gonna sell our own and put our sticker on it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's proprietary, you know. Quote, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll meet this at our tour. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing. <laughs> You're gonna need this if you don't watch us. <laughs> not the best. I don't know. You make shit. <laughs> Yeah, that oh, would be. I feel like that would be great only for the sheer fact that it could be an inside joke. So anybody that comes to the show, you just have like a pink bottle of Pepto Bismol, and you're like, <laughs> on your, tw- they're like, why are you selling this? And you're like, don't worry, you're gonna need it. Exactly. And you, if, give, if you, you know, keep it very obvious. <laughs> you keep it very you know, obvious. You know. <laughs> yeah, if you know, you know. And then other guy, like you get somebody out, you pay someone else to like come up and say like, yeah, you're gonna need it, man, for sure. <laughs> Definitely gonna need it. It'll be great. I'd love it. <laughs> I don't know if that can happen, but I don't, I don't want you guys to get in any trouble, you know, so we'll see. If you watch this segment, then go go tell the guys, you know, at a show. That'd be really cool. Um, <laughs> the next question I have for you guys is if you were to compile a musical super group, who would be in this band? Aside from these guys here? Yeah. Oh, here yeah. Here. Woo! Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, drums? Probably Matt Greiner. Yeah, he's mm. got to be up there, right? I'll, I'll give the drum answer anyway. Yeah, okay, drum. okay, yeah. Pick your okay. instrument. <laughs> Pick your instrument. Pick your instrument. Oh, man. Solid foundation, though. 100%. That's right. That's where we got to start, right? Yeah, great well, start. Well, it's going to be weird, but I'm going to put Victor Wooten in there. Oh, that, that no, guy. I don't think that's yeah. as weird. I think that could work. I could see it. it, it, it oh, he would make it work. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> guy could play anything. That's true, yeah. Super group for guitar. I mean, there's just way too many good guitar players out there. I, I don't even know. All right, pick the worst one. Where to start? <laughs> like Paul he's, he's, he's in the band already. Oh my God, the worst one's in the band already. I don't know what. <laughs> you have to start the band off with a handicap. That's what Christian's saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's small shoes to fill. All right, who who do you got? Yeah, yeah. You gotta pick one. What do we got? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'd yeah, probably go. So I mean, do they have that? to be like if it has to be present, or can they be already like past? Because I mean, we'll rise them from the dead if you want. Yeah, let's go. Back. It'll be zombie. Yeah, yeah. Z- zombie Jimmy and Jesse. Dime bag. So we got dime bag. Zombie dime bag. Victor Wooten on on his face. Laughing. I'm going back back on vocals. Oh my god! I. Here's, I think he's the only take guy. All yeah, take all my money. Take all that's, my money. I want to see that. that. Oh my god! What the hell is going on with oh, that? Man. What, <laughs> man of that? what a group! What a group! That what a do. group! You know, oh, Jack Black would just be all over that too. Yeah, yeah. He would be. Uh, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, time bad. Yeah, yeah. Time time bad. Bad. yeah, man. Go. <laughs> let's go. And Victor Wooten. Oh yeah, let's rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh my god, that. 
That's great. I love that. I don't know how I can follow. I don't even think I can follow that up. That's too, <laughs> it's too powerful of a band, honestly. So, guys, this is the my this is the mile marker you have to meet now in terms That's of it. band band collab. So, <laughs> love luck. that. <laughs> good good luck. Yeah. Salute yeah. to you. Um, <laughs> the uh, the next thing I have for you guys is a big question. I I normally ask for in more of my current interviews, but um, wanted to know you know why music and why making a band is important to you guys because i think because you took some time off and obviously just because of the pandemic that didn't help any band really um but you know what kind of gave you the thought process of continuing on because i know billy mentioned earlier that you know there was a potential for the band to kind of close its chapter and you know not continue on so you know what kind of motivates you guys to get back and out and doing it and playing shows and making new music because i think that I would argue requires a lot of mental strength to kind of flip that script and be like, I, I still want to do it. I still want to make music. I still want to play. I still want to do all this sort of stuff. So, you know, what were kind of the thought processes of, or things going on in your head that, you know, ultimately made you guys want to, you know, revitalize the band and continue it going. Well, for me, I think it's probably a, a creative outlet more than anything. Like even, even if we didn't play shows, even if we just got together once in a month and, and just played these songs, that's honestly, it just feels good. You know? Yeah. Sure. I think it's the love, the love for it, man. Yeah. Uh, it's it, once you start and then you stop, you, you, it's like something's always missing. And you don't know what you got till it's gone. Right. <laughs> yeah. For those three years, it was, it was a struggle, man. It was like, it felt song. like there was always something it was always something missing. And and when we got back together and we came in here, it was like, I left here being like, okay, this yeah. is, this is what, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. Right. Whether it, and exactly what Cody said, whether we're just coming here as, as five dudes, just to jam, that's it. That's that good enough. Yep. I mean, the fact that we get to go out and play and people want to come see us play and it's just that feeling uh, you can't, that high is you can't match it. Yep. And, and once you have that, behind you 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 don't want to give it up yeah Jay, uh, Christian Jay, me you, you don't I mean yeah <laughs> me just literally when you, I don't know it's just been a part of me now for what five years I guess I've been in the band so mm -hmm. it's just been it's it's missing it's just it's not my life anymore I need it I needed it back and when you're on the stage and you've got people looking at you and screaming your songs back to you and it just brings I don't know a feeling over there you just can't get back it's the best drug ever it's yeah. euphoria right there yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly it, um yeah for me it it was about like like i said, said before covid really put everything uh into a weird perspective because i was playing in all these bands and didn't and still don't know for some of them where where they were going uh i just wanted to get out there and play again and this opportunity came up and uh these guys are allowing me to take uh, take my knowledge of what I'm getting into with in terms of music production and just all the gear that I have and trying to like bring a bigger show to show people. And I think we're really excited for people to see what this unit has accomplished in sure. the last year, year that we've that, yeah. been together. And we're just like so angst to be like, God, ah, let's just go and do it. Yeah. We're, we're itching, itching. We're really hard now. We're just yeah. itching. Like you said it, it's all, it's all, it's now or never. Right. We're going guys. <laughs> it's all in. We're all in now. So we got to just get out there and show people what we got. And we want that, you know, the it's, it feels right. Yeah, if sure. that makes sense. It's, it just feels right. feels good. And we want other people to realize what this feels like. And so we got to get out there and show people and, start uh reacting and you know getting to know our audience again and that'll be fun that's it man three years yeah. is a long time so <laughs> it's a lot, yeah. a lot has changed right a lot has changed yeah. in the local scene uh a lot has changed out here as well uh venues closing down all that kind of stuff so uh it's going to be good to kind of get back out there and see see what uh what it's all about yeah so. Yeah, I also feel like from what I could tell, at least it seems like there's just a lot of revitalized spirit. You know, I think that's kind of like the best way I can describe it for, you know, again, not being in Canada and not being able to see your band live, which, you know, hope to hope you guys will make it to the States at some point. Um, but I 
I think it makes me more pumped to hear the new material that's going to be coming out because I think there's just such a good core energy right now. And not to say it wasn't before when I interviewed Cody the last time, but you know, I think oftentimes that when I've been talking with bands after you know post pandemic, um, I think it's been good to hear that bands have you know really you know focused in on themselves and kind of focus in on the band and whether it be to just like play and shoot the shit you know just like having fun or you know actively trying to be like okay so listen we took some time off now it's time to you know go to work and 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 do it right and so i think it's really important that you know a like it's good to know that you guys are just like doing it as as friends you know i think that's kind of like the biggest thing that i always tell other people that maybe are starting bands or like smaller bands i'm just like you guys got to be like friends because you're going to be seeing these people a lot and for long (laughs) periods of time. So like you got to know them very well enough to know that that's something that you feel like is going to continue on. And then anyway, Christian, did you want to say something? I just want to jump in and say something because we just talked about something about this today that I want, I pointed out to these guys is that there's no negativity here, Mm -hmm. which Mm -hmm. is incredible. Like we, we get to a, if we get to an obstacle, it's not about like, oh man, how are we going to figure this out? It's automatic. It's like, how do we get over it? How do we get around it? How do we break through it? Mm-hmm. How do we find a way to, to overcome it? So like, that's really important to find. And like, I've heard this, like Scott Middleton from Cancer Bats told me this. He's like, you got to find the the same people in your band that are just as ambitious and passionate as sure. you are to make it work or else it's not going to work. Absolutely. So I feel like that that was like a big striving factor for why we are getting shit why we are where we are yeah, why exactly. getting shit yeah. Done. Yeah. things are getting that's done that's yeah the ball's rolling again yeah. the ball's rolling and it's getting bigger it's a big yeah. snowball now yeah and i also think it as well as that like i i, I will also say it, it just allows people to kind of again take the time for themselves to like figure out what they want to do if this is something that like you know is something that they are interested in continuing on with and then it kind of allows you to figure out if these people are the the tested band that you want to be a part of right i think that's often the thing that i have experienced with bands that i've interviewed and bands that i haven't interviewed that i've you know just know you know um and so i think that's kind of what at least to me is second to like the music making experience like obviously seeing the music and listening to it is like such a great experience but i also know like if i'm going to a show and i see a band and they're like don't hang out they don't joke they don't shoot the shit like you know that's that's tough to see you know because you you know at least one of those members is like i really want to fucking do this like i don't care what i have to do to do it and the other couple members or whatever might not be as invested in it and that's just tough to see you know you really really want people that believe in the band and what you all, all want to do and it's a collective effort you know but i i can't always can't always get that it's a it's a mixed bag but uh what were you gonna say cody chemistry is really important yes that's, that's what it comes exactly. down to right you, you got to make sure you, you vibe with everybody else in the bed yeah i, I, I love think that's, that. why, that's why we're so excited to go in the studio at the end of january because uh, i think we're gonna create something that blows all our other material out of the water yeah and, for sure uh, with with this group we have here uh it's like jen like uh christian was saying there man it's it's all in it's all in with this next release so that's awesome and then obviously uh, we have to talk about the new track epitaph you know how how pumped are you guys to see it come out like i said i had the opportunity of listening to it a little earlier and i really enjoyed it and i think it just again to kind of point out something i mentioned earlier which is i'm excited to hear where you guys are going to be going ahead um have you given the opportunity for other people to kind of listen to it a little early and have that sort of like like just like a little sprinkle like hey this is what we have coming like you know maybe you should check it out uh i think just family yeah uh, just wow. family, okay. family uh, uh maybe a couple other people because i mean we did record it like two years ago sure yeah yeah, yeah. So, like, so, yeah i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure some people have heard it already um but i don't know if anybody's really seen the video yet uh so. no the video is probably like the best kept secret for sure <laughs> uh i've I, i've had to show like a, a couple of my confidants people that are like you trust their opinion. You trust their opinion. Trust their opinion. Yeah. And they were like, <laughs> my buddy Kyle. Shout out. Kyle Grossi, He's a shout out to him. He's like, 
if you don't join this band, I'm going to come over to your house right now and just murder you on your spot. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I got to do it, man. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds very not Canadian of him. Yeah, I couldn't, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't back down from that uh, comment that he made, but he was what he has a lot of high praise about that song of, of um, what it's uh, uh, done for the band, what it's going to do for the band, because it's uh, it's definitely a, in a direction that's in, in treading in water. We have this band is not treaded. Sure, in. I would but, agree. So it's going to be nice to see like what the community has to say back about it, and I think it's going to be high praise. I mean, go like it, go watch it, and yeah, yep. prove me wrong. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us if you don't like it yeah. too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Christian looks like he's about moments away from just drumming through the computer or whatever you guys are going on. Yeah, that's that passion, baby. That's that passion. Man, he's got it. Yeah, I I also feel like uh, I I also feel like I was watching the music video and (laughs) – I was like, I was like, this doesn't feel very Canadian. There's like blood. There's like all this sort of stuff. Do they believe in that stuff? I just don't like, you know. Very cult, I guess. Yeah, that's <laughs> that, weird. Yeah, yeah, that song itself, uh, I'm very happy with how the video turned out because that song itself was a pretty dark, uh, pretty dark subject matter for me it is. to get yeah. to. So, what, uh, what did you kind of delve into, if you don't mind me asking, Billy? Well, that one, that one, I wanted to go into a place where uh, I was in a pretty low point and it was really about me kind of, writing a death letter on on all the regrets uh, of the people I screwed over and and really coming to terms with like like hating myself so it was a very it was a very dark subject very dark time um and you kind of don't really realize it's happening while it's happening it's more so when you get out of that and you look back and you're like wow I was a piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> it was dark. You know what I mean? Like you really, you don't realize the, the toxic of your behavior until you until you pull yourself out of it and look back and you reflect on yourself. And that was one of the hardest things I had to do is is really kind of reflect on on where I was at and who I was. And I didn't want to be that person. Like when like one of the lyrics is when did I become a shell of of what I used to be? And it was sure. like like coming to that that realization right so uh the video itself is is very much brings that of of me being buried alive and then being brought back up, up afterwards so it was uh uh shout out to trenches media alex alex mcfarland um he absolutely killed that video he killed all our videos yeah, he's, 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 he's done all our videos yeah. and uh he shout really out. works with us when we come to him with an idea he kind of rolls with it so uh yeah shout out to alex and the trenches media Yep. Yeah, crushed it. Shout out to Alex. Um, and one, of their, I, one of our longest partnerships, for sure. Yep. yep. Along with the Northern. Back. Northern, come on, let's 2016, do it. Yeah. 2016, when we put out our first video, so. Yeah. And the Northern. Shout out to Northern, you know, if you want to, like, do the collab that we mentioned earlier, you know, this is, this is my second call out to you. So, you know, if you've made it <laughs> even further into the interview, then you know that I'm calling you out for the second time. So, just saying, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be waiting here until that happens you know so um no i'm kidding i love those guys um but yeah shout outs to alex he did a great job i love the music video it was awesome and um you know i i can i could definitely uh, you know appreciate shout outs to billy for you know writing something that i would argue is a very you know sore subject to talk about certainly you know and i, I appreciate the fact that you know artists take that sort of liberty to you know, write stuff that's difficult. You know, I think that's what ultimately bonds you to bands is that, you know, you're able to kind of feel that, you know, that position. And, um, you know, maybe for myself, like I've, I don't know if I've felt like that in that sort of way, but I know I've definitely been at my lower points in my life before. And that was kind of like in my head, those were kind of those things that I was drawing out in, in terms of the music video. So, um, definitely uh, you know a very powerful powerful message and um you know i hope that everybody goes and checks the music video because i think it's going to be very sick um and i thought for sure the blood was going to be replaced with like tim horton's coffee or something but I guess that's <laughs> the case. so that better, maybe next time i don't know so um but uh loved it and i'll leave you guys with the last thing uh, I want to know where people can find you guys at on social media, what you guys have coming up next in the next couple months and uh, anything else that you'd like to plug or share with uh, the audio addiction fam. Yeah. Uh, well, you can find us uh, obviously Facebook, Instagram, 
uh, get us on Spotify, iTunes, anywhere you can find music. Yep. Um, yeah. Working on getting a TikTok because apparently that's that's a thing now. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah, <laughs> you a long time, man. It's been three years, yeah, right? Yeah, TikTok yeah, fair enough, yeah. Been, right? Um, uh, but yeah, we're gonna have it everywhere. Search Throne of the Wolves. Um, we actually, I don't know when this interview is gonna come out. Uh, if it comes out before July 29th, uh, we have a secret headliner show that we're going to be playing, uh, Trailer Bash 2023. Uh, if it comes after that, then it's not a surprise. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it really is after, to- yeah. Oh. Uh, single release shows coming out, uh, like I said, September 29th. And then uh, we got a couple other dates booked all over Ontario. And then uh, we're going to be playing in Quebec uh, in January as well. So um, it's going to be a busy couple months. There we go. Well, yeah, listen, if you have not checked out Thrown to the Wolves yet, first of all, go back and watch the first interview with Cody and I. That was a great. Big salutes. I love that. That was such a fun interview. Um, but this one's equally, if not, you know, just a little better because there's more members here. So that was that was great. You know, Cody somehow convinced everyone else to come in this interview. So that's that's awesome. <laughs> but uh, definitely go check out Throne to the Wolves. Their new track, Epitaph, will be out on August the 11th. So go check it out. I'll also leave a link for the reaction video. If you want to watch that, that'd be really cool. You know, cool of you. Uh, I had some, you know, I had some things, some thoughts some some you know music what have you it's in that video so if you like We're to watch excited it, to see you. Yes, I, i'll give you guys a sneak peek i'll, I'll get i'll send it out but uh love to love to have these guys on once the new ep and all that stuff's rocking i'm sure they'll be back on the channel again very mm-hmm. soon so keep your eyes peeled check all of the links in the description to go check out thrown to the wolves their tiktok instagram facebook uh whatsapp uh other sure. shit i don't know i whatever kids do now you know threads <laughs> only fans uh, their tinder account yeah <laughs> uh all that stuff so go check the links below go give them a follow and go follow them on spotify so you don't miss out on when the new tracks drop that helps out Ben so much so if you could pre-save it also leave a pre-save link for uh epitaph as well and if you enjoyed this interview Share it, like, and subscribe. It goes a long way. Trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the year's over with. So if you could help me nice. out, I'm a little over halfway there. So that would be really sick of you Beauty. helped out. So Beauty. thank you guys for watching. And huge thanks to Thrones of the Wolves for coming back on again. Appreciate you, Brandon. Thank thanks you. for having us, man. Thanks so thanks much. A lot.